Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time to talk about how mutations work in ARC. I've had a lot of requests over the past few videos to kind of go over how mutations stack and uh, how I go about getting my color mutations and all of that, and I do a lot of breeding. If you guys are new to the channel, if you like breeding and mutations and all that stuff, that's pretty much all I do. I have a blast with it. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. So if that is something you enjoy and you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe for more. But without further ado, let's kind of just jump right into this. Now, we're going to go over the, the, the most important thing first. The most important thing is to get your master male and your master female. And what I mean by that is you want a high level female with zero mutations, preferably. I've got it right now. I'm a bit of a hypocrite. And I'll tell you why in a second. But you want two dinos with exactly the same stats and zero mutations, preferably. Uh, I'm cheating right now because I wanted to. I'm still breeding for color, so I'm not being as picky as I usually would be for breeding for stats. Um, but we do have our male up there with one out of zero, and our female down here with zero out of zero. Now. Uh, unfortunately, her base stats, I'll have to show you her base stats here. Her base stats are actually 8,288.1 and uh, melee damage 375.7. I actually use her, so I've boosted her stats. Uh, but these are the stats we want to pass down. Now, I don't have a male with these stats yet. I keep getting females. Uh, so hopefully out of this round, I'll get a new base male. Unfortunately, chances are our base male will probably end up being like a 3-1 most likely because he's got one mutation on him. And most of our females have a total of three mutations. So um, we're kind of messing up, but preferably you want to do the breeding beforehand to get a male and a female exact same level with the exact same stats. That's where you want to start when you're breeding for stats. When you're breeding for color, it doesn't matter. You can just make a big uh, sex pit and let them go at it for pretty much ever until you get the colors that you want. Um, but that's uh, but for stats, you want exactly the same stats and exactly the same levels for both your male and female. Now that's very, very important when you're breeding for stats. It's going to make your life really, really easy. My life is going to be pretty difficult at the moment. Now, um, the thing, what happens is, what most people do when they're breeding, they'll get a mutation like this one here. This one's got one mutation, and I've named them. So I'm breeding for HP on these guys. Uh, so I've got them named HP01, and this has one mutation on it. Now what happens is most people will breed this one mutation and they'll breed it with another one with a, with a male with a mutation like that. So you'll end up with a baby with one and one mutation. So you're slowly filling up your mutation tree and it ends up looking like this ass disaster right here. 17 out of 20 and 39 out of 20. And then it'll end up looking like this when you breed it back to each other. Where you'll get 56 out of 72. Now what this means is this can no longer get new mutations. You, you'll see dinos with, you know... 100,000 out of 20 on each side. Those are garbage dinos. Now, depending on how they're breeding them. If they're breeding them the smart way, it could still mutate things. But if you're breeding two mutated dinos like this together, you'll keep stacking your mutations on there. But you won't actually get new stat mutations and new color mutations. You have to be breeding with a dino that has under 20 on each side. Because um, you, can't get any, you can't get any new mutations after that. But the thing is, if I breed this female that has, you know, max mutations on each side with a male that does not have max mutations, the male can still mutate the female stats into the baby. So that's the key. You always, you never want to breed two maxed out mutations like, or two mutations like this where they're maxed out because you can no longer get new mutations. And that's where everybody seems to go wrong. What you need to do is you need to keep your the top of your breeding tree completely clean so that you can cleanse I, I'm, I'm gonna say cleanse but so that you can you know start fresh with the baby so if i get a male out of this with stats that i want i'm going to breed that male with this female so that i can continue to mutate those stats as i want now what we're going to do i would recommend focusing on one stat at a time like i'm focusing on hp because the melee damage from thylacleos they it goes up, but it doesn't go up very fast. It's it's uh so I can always use points to actually breed into that. But I'm focusing on HP now, and then I'll eventually start a new line with just melee damage. Um, so I'm focusing on HP. So any baby with a mutation that does not have an HP mutation on it is gonna die. So that sounds terrible, but that's what's gonna happen because you can't be wasting 
your mutations on anything that is not the stat you're looking for if you want to get like a super dino out of it if you're going for color it doesn't matter if you're just going for you know whatever it doesn't matter but if you want to it's going to make your life super easy if you focus on one stat at a time so we're focusing on hp on our thylas so any baby we get that does not reflect the stats here so it's got to have all i want to see is this 8288 go up so if i see a new mutation on a baby and the 8288.1 health has not gone up we're getting rid of it so just keep that in mind it's going to make your lives a lot easier if you focus on one stat at a time and um so we're going to go ahead and kind of show how this is going to work i want a male out of this with the base stats that our females have so that i can add it into our sex rotation and uh tony can go into retirement because he's got some poop stats that i don't really care for and uh, i kind of want to get rid of him in the line because he's just not he's not helping out any really so and also we'll try and exp hopefully we'll get a good um baby from this one to kind of show how these mutations can still be mutated by a male that has lower mutations. Now, there's one more thing that I want to add into this. I've read in multiple places that every time you get a color mutation, a stat mutation comes along with it. So, I have theoretically, and it goes vice versa also. So, every time you get a stat mutation, there is also a corresponding color mutation with it. So, theoretically, we've got 128... Um, mutations total on this so we, there's 128 color mutations in here and 128 stat mutations now the problem with that is two things color mutations can both come on um <laughs> sorry uh can actually come on to stats or not onto color sections on the dino that actually aren't present on the dino like there is a color section six which doesn't show up on certain dinos and that color can actually still mutate i'm hoping that changes in the future where the only things that can mutate on a dino are the actual colors that show up on it because it's kind of a waste to mutate a color that does that's not even represented on a dino so hopefully that will change in the future and you can also get color mutations that don't even show up like this one uh, actually uh tony right there his one mutation is that blue mutation that Rabenna has got and it doesn't show up anywhere on him He also does not have any stat mutations on him now Also, the thing about stat mutations is currently all stat mutations are positive. There are no negative stat mutations. So Any mutation you get is gonna be a positive unless you get like a baby poop color then it's not gonna be fantastic but yeah, so all stat mutations are positive and all color mutations will not show up That is the unfortunate part now the second downside is you can also get mutations in the stats that don't show up because the mutation from the stats comes into play before the stats are inherited from the parents. So you could get a bunch of mutations into health, but then it'll inherit the, the stats from the parents and it may not show up. So you can still inherit all of the mutations because the mutations are remembered down the line it doesn't matter if they show up or not they're going to come into play no matter what it's gonna the dino is going to remember all of the mutations and then as it is born it selects which of those are going to show up in the line so you could theoretically get a dino with when this is bred you could get a dino with 128 mutations with no stat mutations showing up in the tree and no color mutations showing up in the tree so what you got to do is you pretty much got to pray to rn jesus and hope for the best so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of demonstrate this and we're going to make sure all of our dinos are on wandering which i believe most of them are we've got a stupid pig outside maybe attacking i don't know why i didn't get these on wandering to begin with but yeah we're going to get our groove on let them do the dance with no pants and uh, hopefully we'll get some good babies out of it and we'll kind of demonstrate, hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate how a male with no mutations can mutate the stats and colors of two dinos that have full mutations on them. Alright, so we should be making it rain babies here any moment. Now, um, what you'll notice is Coda's baby is going to have one matri or patrilineal mutation. Now, that's because... Um, he's, she's going to be inherit the baby's going to be inheriting the one stat from Tony here and all mutations are cumulative. So it looks like we got no color mutations on this baby. So let's just go ahead and claim these and see what we got. Hopefully we got a male with the stats that we wanted. 
That's not one. So this is garbage. We don't care about this one. Unfortunately, that's pretty sad to say. I know. But you got to be really picky about your babies when you're uh, breeding for stats, unfortunately. So there is another garbage one. That's not the stats we were looking for. Oh, we got a new color mutation. Look at that. That's it's <laughs> and it's the baby poop color. I told you not to, that you didn't want to get. <laughs> oh no! And it's got the poop stats on it. Well, that's fine because we are breeding for color. Looks like we got twins of the poop stat baby poop thylas, so that's fun. I guess I'll I'll keep it. <laughs> Man, I hate the baby poop color. So we got another male. Doesn't have the stats that we want. Uh, let's see what we got here. Man, we got tons of males. I've never had this many males before. See, um, man, I've never had this much bad luck before with, uh, with breeding. What the hell? These are all males. We got literally all males. What the hell? That never happens. Okay, so we got all males. Let's just go ahead and claim this one. Is this a male too? Oh, it's a female. Well, that's good. Okay, so we can demonstrate on here that, um, first of all, this is crazy. I've never seen this happen before. So we've got uh, 56 mutations and one patrilineal mutation. So that shows that all of the uh, mutations from the female stacked onto the matrilineal side, but we still have the patrilineal side to be able to mutate the stats of this dino with way too many mutations on it. Now what you'll notice is it's got all of those mutations, but it only inherited two color mutations and zero stat mutations. It took the stats of the dad and now, and it overwrote all of the stats that we could have had from, uh, from the mutations. And that's because we're not breeding with two dinos that have exactly the same stats. That's uh, cause the mutations stack on first and then the stats from the parents. So you have two stats from the parents is going to take the higher of the two. And if, um, so it's just, it overwrote any potential stat mutations that we had, or it just didn't select any to be in the line, which is what happens. Man, we literally got all males, all shit stat males. I can't believe this. So, um, yeah, we didn't get any new mutations on here, on these, uh, two dinos here, which is unfortunate. So we didn't really get to, um, to show, man, that is really unfortunate. We got no females. <laughs> and we got baby poop backed thylacaleos. So that's unfortunate. All with the crap stats that I don't want to pass on. So I really don't even want to breed these back into the mix. One, because of the color. And two, because of the stats. Now, you um, if you are just breeding for color, then... I would keep any female regardless of what it is, um, except for a color. If it's got a color you don't want, you don't want to put that color back into the line because even if it doesn't show up on the babies, it's still going to be selectable from the tree as you're breeding. So you could get eventually down the line all the colors that you want, and then you're trying to blend them together into one dino, which I'm going to show you how that works here in a moment with my T-Rexes. And then this baby poop color could just slam its way into the line and ruin your life. It's going to, it's pretty terrible. So we're getting attacked. Maybe this will be the male with, uh, oh, we did get a female. And do you have poop stats? You have poop stats. Okay. So this kind of goes against my current theory that, um, Males pass down their color easier than females, and females pass down their stats easier than males. That was my theory, or is my still my theory, but um, it's not showing in today's little example. Most of the time, anytime I breed a male with a female, I'd say probably about 7 out of 10, it's going to inherit the female stats um, more likely than the male stats. And I've seen that multiple times, and a lot of people I talk with and what I've read seem to concur with the fact that males pass down their color more often than females and females pass down their stats more often than males. So we've got a disaster here. I'm not really even interested in saving any of these, to be quite honest with you, mainly because I'm not interested in the color. But we'll go ahead and keep this one so that we can do another breeding round and hopefully... Um, actually, no, because these don't even have the stats that I want. So I'm not even... None of these guys are going to survive except for one of the poop-colored ones. Just because it's color and I might as well save it. So yeah, now what we want to do is try and see if we can put this new blue mutation that I've got on our T-Rexes onto the rest of the colors that we've got. We've got 
Um, a male that we're going to, this is actually a male. So we're trying to pass on a male's color to a bunch of females, which in my experience is um, a little bit easier of a task because males pass down their colors easier than females. So I'm hoping that we'll pass on this blue mutation onto one of our dinos with the red spine because eventually I want to have the red spine and the blue with a different color body. So that's our goal. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this Rex into the Dino Sex Pit 12,000. And um, we're going to do some breeding. And one of these should theoretically carry on the blue mutation that we've got. And I'm hoping that we get the blue back, the red spine, and I guess we can continue on with the peppermint color. Although I'm not a big fan of it. I'd like to maybe get like a purple body or a blue body or something like that. I don't even actually like the blue. I'm hoping for like a purple, a black, or a full red body or a pink body. So um, we'll kind of see what happens. But as you can see, we've got a lot of dinos with that red spine. So we should, if unless RNGesus is against us, we should be able to pass on this blue um, back and get the red spine as well. So we'll see. And I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Oh, looks like our age, eggs are starting to hatch. And uh, we've got a bunch of them. I also, ha I also hatched some Capros. I don't know why I can't speak right now. Jesus. Um, we got two females. Still haven't gotten any color mutations on them. We've got a, mm, one here with a stat mutation on it. We're going for health and melee damage. It looks like we finally got a melee damage mutation on them. No, no, never mind. We didn't. Okay, I'm just losing my mind. Yeah, so we, still, so we still haven't gotten... Ooh, we got a new spine. We got a poop-colored spine. Man, the game loves poop color. I don't know what it is. Okay, so, yeah, we got zero mat uh, matrilineal mutations and four patrilineal. That's all from the one parent that we had with all those uh, uh, color mutations on it, which is cool. But uh, I would have really liked to see the red spine with the blue back. But we still got a bunch of tries for that. Incubating. Okay, yeah. So, man, I don't know what this game is up about trying to give me all these damn poop colors. I'm not, I don't appreciate it. So, yep, still the same stats, but it is a male, which we don't care about. There's another, we're just trying to, I'm breeding for color, but I'm also trying to select the melee damage or health mutations out of them as well. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone if I can. Uh, da, 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 nope, okay. Ooh, <gasps> that looks nice. I like that. Come here. So we passed it on. Looks like that's another male. Okay, come on. Come on, little guy. I want to see your stats. Because if you got garbage stats, I can't use you anymore. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, ooh, and we did get a stat mutation on it as well. Looks like it's not one of the stats that I'm that I care about because I want... Stop, stop wandering. That looks really good. On the uh, the black or gray body or what? Oh, oh, okay. We got a whole bunch of babies going on now. Shit's about to get crazy. So we weren't able to pass on the blue back to uh, with the red spine, but we do have another male here um, with seven mutations on it. Wow. Okay, seven patrilineal mutations. That's intense. So we got a bunch of latent um, stats on here that I can't see. Also, latent color mutations. So we're probably not going to use this one because it's got way too many mutations on it to use again. Uh, let's see if this is a female. We've got a stat mutation on here as well. You can tell because we got two levels on it. Um, but it's not what we're going for because all I care about is health and melee damage on these guys. So if it's got mutations on it other than that, we're going to get rid of it because we don't need it. Oh, and we've got escapees. Ah! Okay, so it doesn't look like we got... The colors, ooh, we did get a new color mutation here, though. That gray on the back color. Nice. So, th wow, three and six. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, and no stat mutations that we care about. So, not too bad of a breeding spree. It looks like, did we have twins? 47, 49. No, okay. All right, no. That's different colors. So, we got a gray um, back accent color on there, which I've never seen before. And are you not? Oh, you're not tamed. Are you a female? You're a male. Man, we're just on a roll with males today. No stats that we care about. Okay, so yeah, all of these are all garbage dinos. Nothing I care about except for anything that may have a stat mutation on it.
which could possibly be one of these. There we go. Nope. It's got stat mutations, but nothing I care about. So all of these ended up being garbage Rexes. It happens. It takes a lot of time to actually breed. We got another 262 in there, which may or may not have stats. I'll have to double check, but yeah. Basically, what I recommend doing is if you're trying to pass on color, your goal is to try and get it onto a male that can then pass down its color a little bit easier. Um, I think it's like... a it's, it's a better chance. I've noticed that it's about 70% of the time, or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, males seem to pass down color easier, and females seem to pass down stats easier. So you want all of your females with the base stats that you want, as well as the male. It's going to be a lot e Your life is going to be significantly easier if you have a male and a female with the same stats. That's why all of our Rexes come out with all the same stats, no matter what, unless they've got stat mutations on them. And it's making my life for breeding Rexes really, really easy. So... I hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, it's uh, the initial color mutation. You pretty much just got to pray to RN Jesus for that. But once you actually get it onto a dino, it's going to be a lot easier to pass it down. And then you can start combining colors. Unfortunately, I didn't get to demonstrate that. But as you can see, I've done it quite a bit on my dinos already. Because um, that red spine was completely separate. And then the peppermint color was completely separate. And I've brought it into where it comes out. A lot of the time on both dinos as you can see and eventually I'll get lucky and I'll get a male with that blue mutation and that red spine and then I'll continue to breed it into our dinos and then once I actually get it bred into the line the way I want the color so I'll get a male with the red spine and the blue accent and then I'll breed that to a base female with zero stats so that way I pass on all of the patrilineal mutations onto one line and then my matrilineal mutations will be zero, so that way I can continue to mutate the patrilineal side, and vice versa. So, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, that is, that's pretty much it. You just gotta breed a lot, and then make sure that when you do breed, and you have a lot of mutations, you're breeding your mutated dinos back with the clean part of the line, which would be your master male and your master female. And as long as you're doing that, you can infinitely mutate your dinos. So just keep that in mind. And when you're breeding, uh, just continue to do that. And you'll get tons of mutations, tons of color mutations, and you'll have a lot of fun. So that is all I've got for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Especially if you like breeding and you like seeing mutations. That's pretty much all I do. It's, uh, I might as well, somebody commented tag breed TV. That might as well be the point, at, uh, the name at this time. But anyways, everybody, that's all I got. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.